because what it was doing was shifting my point of view. It was shifting how I thought about things. Before I start this video, I wanted to let you know that I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about doing a Q&A. So, yes, I'd love to do a Q&A. So if you have questions for that Q&A, feel free to just put them in this video down below. The questions can be about anything. Anything related to my life, my journey, my experience, anything that you're wanting to hear about from me. And I really feel like no question is too personal. So feel free to lay them out there for me. What's up beautiful people? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I want to share with you about gratitudes and specifically the morning practice of sharing gratitudes with myself, writing them down in my journal that I do every morning. I've been getting a lot of questions about my morning routines. I share them on my Insta story. I'm totally obsessed with Insta story. I, <laughs> some days I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna take the day off from doing an Insta story just to chill out and I get so inspired there's something I want to share about my day. So if you're curious what my day to day looks like, you can hop on over to my Instagram and not just like the regular pictures I post but the Insta story if you click on like my profile icon, you can see what I'm up to throughout the whole day. One of the things I share a lot about is journaling. Every morning after I get up and do a couple of routines, my oil pulling, such like that, I come to my journal and I open it up and inside I have my chart, my fertility chart. So I chart first thing and then I do my journaling. And pretty much every morning, a big part of my journaling are doing gratitudes, is doing gratitudes. And I just, oh, I just love it. I feel like I've been doing this for a while now. Sometimes I will do it just like mentally laying in bed and most of the time I do it written here. And I feel like it's really transformed my life. I started doing this probably maybe like eight years ago and it kind of blew my mind how it shifted my entire life because what it was doing was shifting my point of view. It was shifting how I thought about things. And it was starting it right in the morning, which feels super important to me. To get my mind on a positive track of thinking into a space of gratitude and appreciation. People have been asking me to share more of my journaling practices. So I wanted to start off with this one because I feel like it's super simple and accessible. I probably do gratitude lists for anywhere from like one minute to 20 minutes, depending on where I'm at. But a typical morning, I would say it's like five minute gratitude list. And my suggestion would be to start with any amount of time that doesn't bring up any resistance for you. So if that's 30 seconds, then that's a great place to start. And you can have something like a phone nearby and just put on a timer so you know that's the amount of time you're committing to. Then I just write gratitudes and I go to town. And I wanted to share my gratitude list with you from this morning, June 12th, 10.09 a.m. before run, gratitudes. I'm gonna share it with you so that you can see how random it sometimes is. Sometimes I'll do focused gratitudes on a subject or a person or something that I'm wanting to play around with. And sometimes, more likely, I, like, you know, it's the morning, I'm kind of feeling like, ooh, morning fog still. And I just wanna get in that good feeling space or stay in that good feeling space. And I don't think that the subjects that we feel gratitude for matter at all. It's more the feeling space. And it, it really cracks me up where some of them come from or how one thing will link to another and link to another, but how good they all feel to think about in that moment, so. Here's the list of what I wrote down this morning and <laughs> these are the things that felt really good for me. Water, morning routines, stretching, wireless headphones, the sun, ability to run, that all functions so well on my body, beautiful humans, Eckhart Tolle, Harry Potter, 
Insta fans, Instagram, Woodstock Fruit Festival, challenges, Connor, always loving me, breathing, moving, fantasies, music, Spanish, money, my freedom, getting customer orders, having fun, water slides. That was it. That felt so good this morning and it felt really fun to read and reflect back on. I feel like no matter what I've been feeling in my life, creating space to create a gratitude list has had such a profound effect on my state of being. I know sometimes when I felt like in a space that's a little more resistant, it can sometimes feel hard to even open up my notebook to do that or set a timer. But when I do, what I notice is that it's really what I needed. That's really what I wanted, like deep in my core. And in those spaces, I usually start with really simple gratitudes. Like these, these are all, these all feel really simple. Sometimes they'll be more specific, like if I'm playing around with loving my body. But I feel like if we're feeling any resistance, it feels really good to start with something simple. Something like the smell of the fresh air around me when I'm outside or the sound of the birds in the morning. The feeling of this comfy blanket I have when I pull it up to me. The sound of someone's voice that I love. Cartwheels. <laughs> Um, a movie, a movie scene from a funny movie that just cracks you up. How many ways can you feel grateful? How many ways can you evoke that feeling within you? That, that feeling that leads to an epic life. Because sure, I want to achieve my goals, but what I really want is the feeling that I think I'll have when I achieve that goal. And that is usually a feeling of appreciation and joy and gratitude. So why not start right now and just evoke that feeling within me? Ugh, clearly I get really excited about this topic. And a lot of topics around intentional living and exercises for personal development. This is really maybe the biggest thing that I've spent the last decade of my life focusing on. And I've put so many of those exercises and so many of the elements of life that I've learned about in my program, Simplify. And I'd so, so love to share it with all of you. I've created a discount code just for the people who are watching this video. So you can take $20 or 20% off, I forget how much. The discount code is in the description below. And I'd just love to be able to share all of that with you. And I'd love to share more of these types of videos if you're interested in hearing about journaling or exercises like this or any other topic, feel free to write it down below. If you want to share your experiences around gratitude, I'd love to read them. If you found this video helpful and want to share it with somebody, I'd so appreciate that. feels like the biggest way that we can help spread such a positive, loving message together. And yeah, just I feel so grateful for all of you, always. So thank you for being here. Sending you so much love. Bye.